Hello and welcome to Design Tip of the Week from yesimadesigner.com. My name is Martin Perhiniak, and today I'm going to teach you a very important lesson about InDesign and how to handle odd words at the end of lines in your documents. Whenever you work with a lot of text, you will have issues like having an I at the end of the line, which can look very odd. Let me show you an example in this magazine. Here at the bottom, if I zoom a little bit closer, you can see twice in a row I have the last word as I. And that's not a nice thing because that is actually continuing, so that's not the end of the sentence, obviously. And having this odd word here at the end of the line is not something you would like to have in your documents. So how can we get rid of this and how can we make sure it doesn't happen in any of the lines in our document? Because to be honest, I wouldn't like to go through the whole uh, magazine, if it's like 130 pages long, uh, to check every line one at a time. So I would like to do this quickly and easily. So let me show you what you need to do. First of all, you have to go to one of the instances where you can see the issue and delete the space after the I. Then go to the type menu, insert white space and choose non-breaking space. There's also a keyboard shortcut here if you want to learn. Um, so I'm going to select this. And as you can see now, it's uh, added the non-breaking space, which means it will keep these two words together. Make sure they won't get separated. So I was will always be visible together, either at the end of a, a line or in the beginning of a line, but they won't be separated, which is exactly what I want. But I would like to have the same thing uh, in the whole document. So what I need to do now is to make a selection including the space before the eye and the eye itself and also the non-breaking space after this character. Once I have all three selected, I can go to edit and choose copy. And then I can go to edit, find change. You can also use control or command F as you can see as the keyboard shortcut for this uh, feature. And here, first of all, I'm going to type in what I'm looking for. I'm looking for space, capital I, space. Then I go to change two, and I just paste in what I selected earlier. So that's the space, capital I, non-breaking space. By the way, if you want, you can also paste in uh, a special character here. So you can choose uh, any of these options, and you can find white space and non-breaking space as well. I just show you, now we added two non-breaking spaces here. I'm just going to delete the second one. And it's very important that you should change the search from selection to the whole document. So you can select document. You can even select all documents if you have several uh, InDesign documents open and you want to make sure this is applied to all of them. So now that it's set up, I can click on change all. So let's have a look. Once we change all, you can see there was 130 instances in this document that had to be replaced. So I'm going to click on OK and we can click on done and you can see this part is completely sorted now we won't see any uh, lines ending with an odd eye so that's great but let's have a look and go a little bit further back in this document in the previous page i think i saw another issue here this is a magazine for photographers, nature photographers, and there's a lot of uh, reference for uh, settings on the camera, like the ISO sensitivity. And of course, this is again a technical uh, parameter which has to be written together with the number after it. So ISO on its own is not enough. You have to have the number after it. So again, what we can do in this case to make sure that this won't stand on its own at the end of a line at any uh, time in the document, we will have to again do the same thing. We can go to edit, find, change, and then type in space, ISO, space, so that's what I'm looking for, and I would like to change that to space, ISO, and then paste the uh, white space, non-breaking space after it. 
So then again, whatever is after this will be always attached to it and they won't get separated. Again, I'm looking to change this in the whole document and then I click on change all. Again, there was 76 replacement. So I click on OK and then we can click on done and you can see now it's nicely kept together even the iso range is kept together because indesign won't make a difference between a number or a word it will always keep these together so i can be sure now in the whole document the abbreviation iso will never stand on its own at the end of a line so you can use this technique for all kinds of different things. Again, like when a sentence starts with A um, on its own, you have to make sure that it won't be at the end of a line. You can use the same technique and it's useful for a lot of different reasons. So a simple fix, but can be very useful. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. Also, if you want to learn more about design, check out my in-depth online courses on my website, yesimadesigner.com.